Hey everybody, um, some of you have been asking for some uh, in-screen uh, shots of the uh, upcoming uh, Urban Terror uh, modification in version 4.2. So I thought uh, I'd go ahead and throw something out there to give you a better idea of, of, of just what's coming in in the way of uh, new animations. <coughs> Hey, first off, this ain't going to be no production grade uh, demonstration of what's going down in my end of the world, but rather just uh, throw something out there to give you guys uh, a little something a little bit more than just rumor <coughs> and to uh, actually visually see what's going to be uh, occurring uh, throughout the whole animation set. Uh, and as you can see, uh, Tom on our screen here is uh, uniquely different than from before based on its key pose uh, idle stance. This is normally the stance that you would have in any kind of di different situations, uh, be it if you're walking, running, crouching, or whatever. And this is going to be the key point from which all other uh, types of uh, animation is going to flow through. And as you can see, the idle stance is a little bit more, shall we say, animated than it was before. This is due to some coding changes that have been made and that, that allows um, uh, various uh, objects uh, particularly the player model, to uh, animate uh, based on any given part. So the, uh, the model here is made up of three distinct parts, the head, the torso, and the legs. So each of these needs its own little animation sequence. The, the bug over it all, though, is that uh, because of the need for the character to move throughout the, the scene, uh, any type of animation that was originally applied to the torso would uh, be reset every time the character moved over, over an uneven surface. So it really made it look like a, a real chicken plucker type of uh, uh, animation. And it wasn't really, you couldn't really dial in anything, any smooth type of transitions. So normally all you would get for, for torso and head is a, a single frame animation that you would never have to worry about being reset. That's why uh, in uh, the current version, the uh, player model would have uh, the rifle up into the uh, into its normal firing position, because you really couldn't add any other types of animation to it beyond beyond that, because each time the character would move, it would reset. That doesn't do that anymore, and as you can see, uh, the character now has a, a much more fitting uh, idle. Uh, uh, sequence to the, the chest torso. We're doing a little bit of heavy breathing because we are kind of running around. The head's a little bit more, a little bit more wobbly. Uh, there are plans of hopefully being able to get the head a little bit more involved, so we can add some expressions or the look of fear when they uh, when they get their ass toasted, that kind of thing. Uh, probably the, the first thing you'll probably notice when you fire up the game is let me get is 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 how the character now moves. So if we go into a run position, you can see that the, the weapon is much more uh, much more com held much more comfortably and it's uh, there's a lot more energy into the character moving forward. The same thing with moving a little bit backwards. The uh, only real issue is a slight resetting of the torso, the torso cycle each time you move forward. Uh, once again, remember this is in production kind of stuff, and this is going to kind of stuff that's going to be fixed. So if you uh, see something that you you think you'd like to point out, by all means do so. But be be sure that I am and we are aware of those uh, those uh, uh, little flaws within the animation. <clears throat> so this would be fitting for for a visual cue cue that the character is just simply running around and moving normally from this idle position. Uh, but uh, we can step that up one a bit further based on, on the need for visual cueing from the player model by if we say for example go to the walk cycle you can see now that the, the, the character model will actually perform a little bit more let's say natural to what a, a, a walk should be. The character is a little bit more intentive, you know, scanning the horizon. So if you see somebody doing this, they're definitely walking around. <coughs> uh, the next step from that would be probably to demonstrate, which unfortunately I cannot do it because it doesn't show up in the up in the uh, in the uh, uh, third person view like this would be the scoping nature uh, of the sniper. Um, so similar to this character walking like this, who then would go into attack position. This, uh, Somebody who is scoping would be locked into the weapons up position similar to this, but they would not, they would hold like this until they release their scope, 
in which case the weapon would come back down to the chest like this. So as you can see, everything sort of cycles off of the key idle position. Uh, and the same thing can be said too as well is in the crouch position. And as you can see, the character now gets down really close to the ground. Uh, once again, ignore this popping thing here. This is something that obviously that we, you know, we're going to need to be fixed. That will be polished up once uh, all the other key animations are, are dialed into as well. What's uniquely different though about the crouch position is, well, for one thing, if you have to do a reload, guess what? Your head pops up and puts you into a position where you can be sniped off. So by all, certainly do not uh, stick your head up like that. The, the next uh, key feature I would say of, of the crouch position is even if you're in the crouch position, you can press this, your jump key. Let's make sure that we're not bashing into the wall. It's a little hard to tell where I am at this point. Uh, and if you hit the jump key, your character will go up lock position if, you're, if you have your, your, your walk mode turned on. If we turn off our walk mode, we go back into the, into the running again all the while still in the crouch position because if we release the space bar in this case that which is my jump key the character will pop down into the crouch position again so you can do things like uh, for example in this position here you can pop up shoot and pop right back down again so you can use cover a little bit more efficiently once again we have some timing issues you know we need to have a little bit more faster popping up here but that's but that, now you can see you can do a lot more running gun com types of combinations with just uh, with a lot more fewer need for pressing a, a, a lot of different keys. And you can use the uh, terrain to a little bit better to your advantage. Now let's see what else is there that we can show off here. Well, I think that's basically all I really want to show off for now. Just to give you a bit general idea of how the how the animations are going to be. Uh, a, f a little bit more effective uh, in in a normal combat type of situation. There are some more stuff that's on the horizon, but uh, those are kind of stuff we want to keep a little bit more to our chest and a little bit more secret for now, just so you guys will have a little few more surprises. But to assure you, uh, a lot of these uh, ideas that we're going to be adding into the basic combat package will be, as I say, more, uh, humanly dynamically uh, possible within this kind of situation. So uh, I think that uh, should be enough for you to uh, chew on for a while. So uh, enjoy. hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, see you later.